Hello and welcome to my short demonstration of my Zap Enterprise 7 thesis project. It's supposed to be a video uh, service that uh, users can uh, register, uh, enroll, and buy uh, courses and learn about subjects on those uh, lectures. Um, there are some flaws here and there, but I wanted to make this video because it is a working uh, project. It has the functionality uh, that I wanted to have. It's supposed to resemble uh, websites like uh, Udemy and uh, Udacity and I believe that I have uh, managed to complete uh, that particular functionality. So, let's see what um, can we do. So, uh, this is the landing page. Uh, as a visitor, we can uh, create a new account. Uh, this is the register uh, form. We can enter names. Uh, uh, we can enter name, email, username, and password. The name can be uh, anything. The email should be uh, something like this. If we don't uh, enter this specific uh, pattern, it throws an error and says that uh, it should have um, this uh, form. There's a custom validator here that checks for the input and uh, accepts it or rejects it. Uh, the username and the password. The password uh, gets uh, hashed in SHA-256, if I remember correctly, into the database. And the uh, account gets created. Go to the home page. Uh, well, there's another flow. I can go to the uh, user's main area. Uh, of course. Well, actually, let's uh, log in with the sample account and see what's uh, what's there. So, here we can do a number of things. Uh, first of all, we can view the available courses. Uh, now, if a user has already bought uh, specific courses, it uh, the Buy button gets disabled because there's no uh, reason for a user to uh, repurchase a, an already purchased course. These are the lectures for each um, for each uh, course, and of course they're just samples. I just wanted to show the functionality. Um, we can. Uh, I thought there was a message that was shown. Uh, parentheses grow to be specific anyway. Um, the shopping cart with the course. Uh, of course, we can remove specific courses if we have more than one here, or we can clear the card and check out that uh, takes us to this uh, page. Uh, the pattern is just a like this because, well, I couldn't implement, uh, you know, an official uh, payment method. Uh, I suspect uh, I could use the PayPal um, API for this, but uh, then I would get into uh, more trouble that I would want. And by calling purchase, we have the we have purchased the uh, the course. Now, if we go to the uh, if we go to the profile. Well, actually, the course that we just purchased doesn't show here. I don't know why, but anyway, uh, it's a small error, I think. Anyway, so let's go to this uh, course, um, and here we can see the lectures. Of course, if there were. Uh, more then it will be lecture three and uh, this is the this is a YouTube video of course and 
We can also download additional material. If we click this, and it should get saved. There it is. Uh, Prime Faces functionality right here. Prime Faces has uh, helped me a lot in this um, in, uh, building this uh, in building this uh, project. So so far, this is the uh, this is what a user uh, can do. The contract suddenly doesn't work. I will implement at some point, but uh, I don't know when. So if we call log out, we are logged out. Now let's see what the administrators can do. Uh, we can click here. I log in with my own um, credentials, and this is it. Uh, I think you have noticed that if we um, log in with uh, an administrator uh, credentials, then we are um, landed on another uh, page, which is well the normal thing to do, I think. So, uh, first of all, what can we do? We can show all the users in the database. Uh, well, this isn't good practice, of course, for an application, but I want to do it just for the sake of, uh, of uh, the functionality of what uh, Java Enterprise can do. And here we are. Now, of course, we can see the last uh, accounts we created and we can see uh, others as well uh, we can search for specific uh, users for for example let's say uh, let's search for anything in the in the username that has the letter E and these are the accounts uh, let's go for in the name None. Yeah, well. And if it's empty, then it searches for all the. It searches for all. Uh, uh, it just displays the contents of the database. Of course, we can delete. Well, this doesn't work. I haven't implemented the edit. Um, delete and we can see that uh, this drop works now um, we can create a user I'm not sure why actually I implemented this because maybe an administrator can add another administrator uh, then we can create courses this is a little um, weird for now because um, I didn't manage to build tabs uh, dynamically in this uh, uh, in this page uh, so for now we can just add some uh, course information and three lectures so this is an ideal but uh, it's something to look forward to when I uh, get my hands again on this uh, project the JSON page here is just a small demonstration of the JSON API and what we can do with JSON. Uh, right now, all it does is display a, uh, the contents of a of the user's table in a JSON in JSON object, and perhaps I'll make it possible for this to be downloaded or something. I'm not sure so far and uh, this is it oh, I know there, there were some errors here and there uh, not exactly sure why it worked on my laptop but now it doesn't work on my desktop anyway but um, yeah this is it um, thanks a lot for watching